Okay, so, sir, please, can you tell us the history behind the status uh, at the back there? Good. What you are saying is uh, Obu Gad. Obu Gad is the first Igbo hut. It was built by Harry and his two brothers, Harry, Arodi, and Arel. They built this hut. And what you do is to renovate. And when you look at it, it's this mud house, only brushed with cement. Harry, okay. Arodi, and Arel built this place in the remembrance of their father, God. So somebody may ask you, how he do come into exist existence? He do is the first Igbo village on earth, and that is where you are now. We have three do's. Benin to Ife is Idu Ife. Yes, from Abo to Oroni is Idu. That's where you are today. Then from Oglugu to Ida is Idu Ime. So Idu was divided into three. Idu Ime. Yes. Okay. Idu was divided into three. And here is their ancestral home. Mm. Both Idu Ime and Idu Ife. This is their ancestral yes. home. Yes. So this is Obu Gad. Built by Eri and his two brothers, Arodi and Arel. They built this hut, this hut in the remembrance of their father. And it is called Obu in the Igbo language. Obu. Obu. Okay. You're welcome. So the status behind them? The status you are seeing is Eri, the predator of Igbo race. Eri has five male children and a daughter. The first son of Eri is Aglo. Aglo Eri. Aglo Eri means Eri namesake. The first son of Eri is Aglo Eri, meaning Eri namesake. The second son of Eri is Ata Eri. Ata migrated north and found Egala. The third son of Eri is Oba. Oba migrated west and found Benin down to Ife, even to a place called Ijebibo. Then the fourth son of Eri is Ibo. It is unfortunate that the Ibo has no male child. The fifth is Menri. Menri migrated northeast, Jukuns, Edoma, and Tivis, and a daughter called Adambo. Adad Adambo is the mother of Neni, Nise, Nobi, Newi. The first son of Adambo is Nei. That is where we call Umuleri today. The first, that's, they are the first son of Adambo. Alright, sir. So can you throw more light on this? Yeah, well, you see, what he said is actually what happened. You see, that of uh, uh, Adambo, the only daughter. You, any town, you, 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 you see Ne, Ne, Ne remains the so, the daughter of uh, Adam. That town belongs to Adam. We, we said ne, we know what no be ne, all of them. They are all nurse and they are from Adam. We are the children of uh, Aglo, the first son of Harry. And because Ibo has no male child, we will answer Nde Ibo. Nde Ibo. Nde Ibo. Not that Ibo is our father. Our father is Aglo, the first son of Harry. And because when Ata left, Oba left, Men left, Ibo, Aglo, and Adambo are the only ones. They are the five Igbo speaking states today in Nigeria. So, because of this, there's one Igbo adage. No ke made ana noro o ke wanye fo. Makifia, Aglo, and Adambo, na zaze ndi Ibo. That's why we are called Ibo race. And we are the brothers of the Igbo. If a if Gala says that the Gala and the Igbo has the same father, no doubt about it. Their father is Eri. Eri, the fifth son of God. God, the seventh son of Jacob, Israel. That is why we have a relationship with Israel. I think we will go in into the Igbo God. But there's one thing we will see. You are not allowed to go in there because you are still a young woman. Okay, I'm not allowed to go in yes. there. Okay. I know you are not up to 45 years. No. 
So for this reason, you have you have to stop at the entry. Okay. It's a scared it's place. Uh, old people. Any that woman that has to see her menstruation doesn't go in there. Okay. You will only allow when you stop having it. So when you stop seeing your menstruation, yes. that's when you then go when inside. Then you become it. man. Okay. So that's the only reason. I have to wait that side. I have to wait that side. <laughs> I, so I don't want to go inside. No. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> In so this case, I have to wait that I'm side. Sorry. All right, let's. But I can go closer. But I can go closer. You go closer. You come closer. Though. All right, not, let's, go, let's, go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Wow. Ebunu no Kita, where you are today is Obugar. Obugar. Bunka Ono no Kita. That means the first hut on earth built by Hebrews. And it was built by Eri and his two brothers. Eri, Arodi, and Are. What you are seeing there is. Hebrew written, written in with cowries, the first money used on earth by trading. After trading by butter, this is the first thing we use. We call it cowries. In Igbo name, we call it in Sibis. Now, we didn't know that these things has meaning until our brothers came from from Israel down to this place in research of finding, looking for the lost tribes of Israel. That was the day we found this thing useful. And up till today, that's why you see it is cemented so that it won't go out again. It's an, as it is reason. Now, the throne is the throne of Eri. All the kings from Eri dynasty, this is where they sit. And this is the throne of Eri. The, the present now is His Majesty Eze Chukwe Mekere, Eze Dibo, Ezora, the third fourth, Eze Akajofibo, the present occupant on a throne. He represents our father here. Like I told you outside, that he has five male children and a daughter. After the, the migrating out, Bo, Oba, Ata, Menri. They used to come here. The Rees will never have a king without visiting this place. Benin has stopped from the present one. His father came here before becoming the Oba of Benin. But the present of Oba Benin does not visit here. They know their reason. No Benin Oba without coming to this place. Now, we have a tough egala, present a tough egala. Now, we didn't know the reason why they stopped coming. The past one came here. I was the one they sent from this place down to Ida to represent His Majesty on the day of his coronation. But today, certain things are stopping. And maybe it might be one of the reasons why we had an egala man saying that uh, Ibos came from egala. What we are saying, Egala and Ibo are of the same father. Their father is Eri, the fifth son of God. God, the seventh son of Jacob, Israel. If they said it is not, let them tell us who is the father of Egala. I know Egala did not fall from heaven. Maybe God threw them from heaven, they become Egala. What we are saying, Ata of Egala, is from this place. Okay, you will, somebody said there is some uh, Igbo towns has a gala symbol. Yes. Why we have a gala symbol is that we a gala from here. The first son of a gala is still living in Abler, called a kete. A kete is the first son of a gala. And it's here. I, there is reason we would not have that. Somebody say Ata. Yes, Ata is the second son of Eri. And it's still here. That they migrated outside does not mean that their, their siblings are not here. Okay, if we talk about of, uh, Igbo and the Igala. You, you ask anybody. The name America is an Igbo name. America is an Igbo name. 
the real meaning is Emery Gomonka. Ask anybody, the founder of America is a black. No matter what is taking place today, and that will take us back. You, the English people, said civilization started in Africa. Yes, it started here. Because if you go to the other place, it said it started there. You can't find something reasonable to prove that this is here. But it's here. Anyone you want, I'll take you to the place. This will lead us to a place where I'll tell you where a resettled first. Ere, Arodi, and Are settled at the confluence of Izu and Omambala. It is called the River of Life. I will take you there, you see for yourself. The two rivers join, and it are demarcation that tell this water is different from this one. Because Omambala is the female, Ezu is the male. I will take you there, you see for yourself. Not a story after telling you, you can't see anything, showing picture. No. This is Obo God. In Idu Eri Kingdom. Somebody might ask you, what is Idu? Idu is the first ever Igbo village. That is Idu. And when the Western culture came, they divided us into three. We then get Idu Ife, Idu Ime, and Idu. Where you are today is Idu. Benin to Ife is Idu Ife. Ogurugu down to Ida is Idu Ime. If you look at things here, there are certain things I want to show you. If you look at this here, you will see a star of fairy. When you go to the Western world, they call it Star of David. But we know a rewards before David. And we have this star here. No Ezeri in council member will know. Look at it now. You can see it on me. The Star of Eri. Look at my brother. Star of Eri. Ezeri in council has 79 in number comprising five Igbo speaking states. And we go with this star. That's how we know you are a member of Ezeri Council. Now, what we have here is the stool of His Majesty, the native one. And when you look there, you see the star of Ezeri on top of that stool. What we have here is Suvio. The other one is in Gedegu. This one is what we use to wake, wake the king up in the morning. This view is when somebody is about to have a title. If a title person is, if somebody has to become a title person, this will be singing as we view. Then, if you look around, you will see hairs of different animals, like buffalo and some other ones. They are here because the killer brought it to his majesty, and after eating, he will keep the head for people to see. And look at the other ones. It is the cheese of the past. The cheese that has gone. I know we may use this thing to uh, this one to tell you about a short story. It is only here in Igbo land that knows God more than other tribe. That is why you can see a man in Igbo called a Kennedy Chuku Chuku Emeka. Chuku nonso, chuku ode, chimu obimu. So Igbos don't give name like a say somebody's cow, somebody's this or frog. We give name because we know our relationship with God. So that's why you see here. Our ancestors use this to call their ancestors while giving somebody name. You see. The drums there are a boeze. We we'll call it a boeze. It is seven in number. It is only three you can see here. Other ones are the other, the other side. Drum of the king. And we we'll call it a boeze in Igbo language. If you see this one, we we'll call it a kabo. And Igbo, they call it a idiot. I think that is their name but it's here because the person who brought it see it as something you would take to the king. Sure. 
I'm handing over your microphone back to you. You know, the reason why you are here is that you are not of the age. If by this time you get to 45 years, you'll be allowed coming in and going out there. Okay, so no problem. Welcome. Thank you very welcome. much. Thank you. Let me take you to a the statue of Eric. All right. And explain more to you. Okay. Uh, start coming. Why we are here is to show you more about that. Look at it now. You see this star? Yeah. Yes. And you see it? Okay, that's that, the That's what I'm putting on. Look at my brother, he's putting it on too. Okay, the same thing. Yes. Yeah. The reason why so I'm showing it is here for you is that this area has that star. They call it Star of David, you know. Airy was before David. The star is here. It's one of the ancestral things we have here. It's here in our it's very star. Yes, okay. it's here. Wow. We try to protect it because the Western culture has taken more, almost what we have here. It is only the star and the four is what we have here that remains. Okay. They call it Star of David or all sorts of other names, but we know it's the Star of Fairy. And that's why how we identify the children of fairy anywhere they are. We are the one using yes. the star. Yes. So I wanted to show so it. Anyone to you see putting on this yes. is it's children of Aerie. And that's you, when you go to the you see the, the that's one of the, the relationship between us and Israel. In their flag, they have this star. And what we have here, nothing we do here without this star. If you see an Eric King, he put us like when you go to the palace, I will show you his majesty putting on that star. Uh, when you go to uh Edan, the summer that they put this call of a man who don't do that, who use star, the symbol of fairy. I told you to keep following my page because I'll be giving you like details. You said you have more to show. Yeah, if a lot. I will take you to where it is settled first before coming to Upland. The mm -hmm. conflict between Ezu and Omambala, Abana Ezu and Omambala, it is called the River of Life. The, the River conflict of Life. Between Ezu and Omambala. We, I will show you a lot there because we have conflicts between our River Niger and River Omambala. But it's not important like that. We have a conflict of River Benue and River Niger. But the River Omambala and River Ezu has a lot to tell because there is pyramid at the center of that river. There's a tunnel that connects all the water around here, there. So, so when they, somebody's telling you history hey, of something, hey. so, 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 let that person show you what it has, what it has to, to prove, prove that there is the history saying. of a place. Yes. yes, yes. Okay, let's go. More updates.